Good evening and welcome back to Delmarva. For the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic began, the Maryland Department of Education releasing its school report card and Worcester County Public Schools passed with flying colors. 90% of WCPS schools saw either a four or five star rating across the state. Only 48% of schools saw that milestone. Chief Safety and Academic Officer for grades 9 through 12, Dr. Annette Wallace says she thinks the thing that sets WCPS apart from other districts was the focus on caring for children's mental health, both during and on the tail end of the pandemic. Every single one of our staff members has an impact on kids. And so when we talk about a pandemic and all of the trauma that all of us have faced, um, certainly I don't think anyone was immune during the pandemic to challenges. Um, but when we came back, we really look at the individual needs of every student. Now, Dr. Wallace says 10% of the schools in the district did not see a four or five star rating because they just didn't have the necessary student groups to meet all of the data points. Looking ahead, though, Dr. Wallace says while they're proud of this achievement, there's still more work to be done. I really think that we would have even made more growth, um, but with the pandemic and um, all the illness that's going around, chronic absenteeism still counts against us. Um, so it's created an interesting dynamic. Um, we want students in school, but at the same time, we don't want students in school when they're sick. Now, other top priorities are achieving a 100% high school graduation rate and getting all students to score at least proficient on state tests. All right, let's take a look at that weekend forecast here going forward. It is going to be a chilly one here all weekend. We call this unsettled, not a lot of sun. It's not going to be a ton of rain either. In fact, the heaviest rains that we've had so far have already moved out, and I'll show you on the satellite and radar coming up here, but there's still going to be some leftover shower action coming in early Saturday. We're going to get a break here for tomorrow into the afternoon. The breeze is going to be up too, but that'll back off. And first half of Sunday will work out to be okay, but chilly temperatures slightly below average. Blustery, as I talked about on Saturday, and then showers uh, that will return late in the day on Sunday. Now, if you're watching from the beaches or the upper shore, you've got some more issues with wind, which I'll get to here in just a bit. But this was earlier this morning. We said had a very light frost in a few spots. Now we're getting into that season here and the growing season's getting started. We got to watch for this, but this comes from Stephen. He was at the Delaware Botanic Gardens out of Dagsboro and caught this here. Uh, just a very light frost in these delicate flowers. I believe they bloomed, so or they're still in the process of doing so. So I don't think this hurt them completely. I'm not sure about that, but this is a great photo. I want to thank Stephen for sending that in as we keep an eye on that uh, frost and freeze as we go into April and early May. All right, 51 degrees. That was a high today, close to average. We started near average this morning and uh, it was a quiet day to start. We had the showers and now we're getting into some more of the problems here. So we have gale warnings in effect for a lot of the area. Small craft advisory for the Delaware Bay and then inland here. Coastal flood advisories for tributaries through Dorchester, Wicomico and Somerset counties. That goes through tomorrow morning and uh, uh, looking at the potential here with northerly winds that will continue to be gusty at times to bring in those problems with that uh, minor coastal flooding. So there's seven o'clock tomorrow morning focusing on the coastline here. The Delaware and Maryland beaches sustain winds close to 20 to 25 miles per hour at times and the peak of the wind should be around noon and then we'll start to see them back off as we go later into the day. Radar picture at the moment is quiet after a wet evening. Still wet roads here on our shore auto sale sky cam out of Georgetown as those winds are starting to pick up just a bit. Temperatures holding in the 40s at this point. Area of low pressure to our north, that's going to transfer its energy off the coast as we go forward here through the night, and that will continue to keep that northerly wind in here. Most of the moisture will stay off the coast, but at times we'll get some of these light showers kicking through. Let's take a closer look. Timestamp here through tomorrow morning, and there you go. Those develop into the early part of the day. Real light stuff, but just know that they will be around through the afternoon. Should be moving out though later in the afternoon, and then we'll get into some clearing here as we go into Sunday, hoping to get at least some sun in here Sunday before we start talking about rain again. Okay, back to tonight. A couple showers around will stay just above freezing in the 30s. Tomorrow's highs will be just shy of 50, but it'll feel like the 30s with the wind that will be gusty at times, especially earlier in the day. Brazier's carpet care to walk, uh, dog walking forecast We're looking at yellow paws there for the later part of the morning and early afternoon with those showers. And we'll talk a little more about the seven day forecast coming up with my final weather, but blustery and even chillier into Tuesday and Wednesday. We've got more DSI coming up on the other side of the break. Stay with us.